How's it going guys? So today I'm out at a nature reserve in the middle of Essex and I'm looking for the UK's only venomous snake, the adder. So hopefully today I'll find some adders, we'll get the chance to film them and I can talk about why they're so amazing and why, for me personally, they're my favourite animal to go out and spot in the UK. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. My name's Adam and welcome to Nature's Go. So before we properly start the video, I think it's important that I put out a little bit of a disclaimer. Adders, as I said in the intro, are venomous. So if you do go out and try and spot some adders for yourself, there's a few things you need to be aware of and be really careful of. First of all, keep a bit of a distance. They're unlikely to go for you, and if they do go for you, it's unlikely to be fatal. But you'd rather reduce the chances of them reaching out and biting you. Secondly, if you have any dogs, I'd keep them on a lead if there's any signs that say there might be adders around. If an adder does bite us, like I said, it's unlikely to be fatal. But if it's a smaller dog especially, and an adder gets it, it's probably not going to end well. So enough about warnings and health and safety. Let's get into why the adders are so cool. And let's hopefully go and find some. So adders are pretty easy to identify. They grow up to around 80 centimetres long, and they have this black zigzag pattern along the back of their body. The males tend to be a sort of creamy, white greyish colour whereas the females tend to be brown sort of bordering on red at times with that black zigzag running down the back that's the key feature to identifying them in the uk we actually have two other snakes and one other snake like reptile one is the smooth snake that's incredibly rare and you're unlikely to see it but i'll throw a photo of it on screen anyway the other one is the grass snake now this is the other one you are likely to see they tend for some reason not to be in the same habitat as adders i'm not 100 percent sure why but these are more identifiable as they have like black spots that go down the body and then the other one is the slow worm now this one's really easy to identify it's smooth all the way down the body usually one color occasionally it has a black line that goes down the back but these are completely harmless they're technically legless lizards but the one we're looking for today like i said many times is of course the adder you can actually find adders across a range of habitats in the uk today i mean like a foresty type nature reserve and they love forest they love scrub but i've also you know heard of people spotting them on sand dunes on beaches so they really are in a wide variety of habitats adders are really really shy really calm really cautious animals so i tend to find that i'll find them at the opening of a bush so that if you go near them and you know perhaps you do spook them they've got a way to get out they can turn around and go back into the bush and that way you're unlikely to follow them um, i know of a spot at the nature reserve that i'm here at today and i can show you this in a bit more detail and you'll see that they're out in the open you can easily get to them you can see them but if they wanted to they could turn and they could be gone in an instant to protect themselves back into the bush so there's currently three adders not too far from me right at the minute i'm going to try and get some footage of them i'm going to show you them now on the camera but i'll zoom in so it won't be the best quality um, but then we'll try and get some footage with the gopro with the tripod so on screen now we've got two adders there that's two males that are curled up together probably like having each other's warmth you can just see it moving there now really cool and then just to the right hand side just here we've got a female so you can see the distinction that females you know a lot more brown than the male you'll see this a lot more when i get a bit closer with the gopro on the tripod but that's a female there and just over here we've got two sort of whiter creamier males so they're currently basking in direct sunlight the sun is to the right of the camera the sun is shining directly down on these adders so they're cold blooded they're getting all that warmth and these two males are sort of together sharing it in a sort of hook i guess it warms them up quicker, keeps that warmth so less of it is wasted because the ground below them will be freezing cold. So they're actually sharing some of that warmth together. They're both moving now. It looks like a, a bit of a tangled mess. So this is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. There's an adder curled up at the bottom of that trunk. And if you look behind it, there's a huge bit of scrub and bush. Now if this adder wanted to, and I approached it and got too close to it, it could easily just turn around, head back into the bush, and I've got no way of getting to it, and it can easily protect itself doing that. So it keeps its back to the bush at all times. So what you're looking at now is all of the footage we managed to capture using the phone set up on a tripod and a GoPro on the end of a selfie stick. We're not professionals here, we don't have the incredible wildlife photography and filming gear that you might see on like a David Attenborough documentary. So the fact we managed to get this close and get such amazing footage is pretty cool. 
I took this clip just to highlight the safety side of things. As you can see, I've got a GoPro on the end of a selfie stick and I'm still keeping some distance away from the adder, protecting myself and the animal. Adders have a diet of basically anything you can think of that you'd find on the floor. Things like mice and other rodents are some of their favourite food, but they've also been found to eat lizards, they also eat newts, smaller little birds that nest on the floor, so they have a wide range in their diet. I'm sure many of you will have heard that snakes don't eat that often and adders are exactly the same. Adders only eat between 6 and 10 times a year, so probably once every 6 weeks they need to eat something, so it's quite a long time to go sustaining themselves on one meal. You can see the adder moving along screen now. As it slithers along every few seconds you'll notice it bobs its tongue out. This is it taste in the air. It's picking up any new sense as it goes along to sense any danger or anything that might be nearby. I also took the camera out on the day we went to film the adders and we got some incredible shots that I thought I'd show you as well because we get a bit more detail when we look at the adders. The adder you can see on screen now I think is a male, although it's hard to tell. If you look where the light's shining on its head, it's incredibly white, but the rest of the body is more of a brownie colour. If we zoom in on the adder's head, we can see just how incredible their eyes are. They're like bright red with a black slit pupil going down the middle. Now if you think of humans and you know other animals, we have these big circular pupils that widen and close depending on a variety of conditions, mainly to do with the light. Adders have vertical slits and there's a few different benefits to this. One of the main reasons is that their slit pupils are able to cope with a much wider range of light conditions. This means that in brighter and darker conditions they're much more able to see predators and prey moving in front of them and they can focus on them a lot more easier than me and you could. The head of the adder is one of the main ways to identify different individuals. So charities and other scientists who are doing studies on adders can look at their head, look at the scale patterns and work out whether adders are returning to the same area each year. You'd maybe think that an adder who's really venomous probably doesn't have many predators that want to eat it. That's not true. Their main predators are birds of prey. And interestingly, crows like to feast on them as well. Badgers and foxes have also been found to eat adders too. However, there's a lot of evidence to show that these animals recognise that iconic zigzag pattern that runs down their back and avoid them whenever they can. I think I bothered the adders enough today, so I'm going to end the video there. Hopefully you learnt something about these amazing animals. They often get a really bad reputation just because they're venomous, but in my opinion, I think they're incredible. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like, it really helps us out. Have you ever seen adders or any other reptiles in the UK? Where did you see them? Comment down below. Subscribe to Naturescope to not miss any more future videos. We've got so much planned, so much coming this year. We also recently hit a thousand subscribers, so thanks to everyone who's watched the videos and subscribed over the past two years. This is just a hobby for me and the boys. We also work full-time, nine to five jobs, as well as doing nature scope on the side. So it's amazing to see it all come together and for us to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.